Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I want to show you how you can convert classic Google Sites to the new version of Google Sites. So as you can see here, I'm signed into my Google account and I'm using the classic version of Google Sites. And let's just convert this sample site that I've built. As you can see, that hasn't been updated in almost eight years now. And at the top, we'll see this option to convert to new Google Sites. If you don't see that appear, you can also find it by going to the gear icon, select Manage Sites, and then Convert to New Sites. You can request that the same people you shared the site with originally also have access to it, or you can leave that unchecked. Let's start that conversion. Now, if you have a site that has many pages in it, this process of conversion will take quite a bit longer than what you're about to see here on my screen, where it just takes a little bit of time to do this. So now we can continue. Let's review the new version. And you can see here that some of the things that may have appeared in my old site don't display in the new site. So some of the older gadgets, and again, my old site hadn't been updated in almost eight years, so some of these gadgets are outdated. Then I'll just delete that. Okay. And that file doesn't exist anymore, so I'll remove that one as well. Now, if I'm happy with the new version of it, I can check out the pages. There's some my materials page. Okay. There's my calendar. Okay. My calendar came across just like it should. And now let's publish that. And we'll have the option to use the existing web address, which is what I would recommend if you're going to be updating your site over the summer and all of your students have previously bookmarked the old version or you've already given out the link to the old version. Uh, I would recommend using the existing site address or you can create a new one altogether if you'd like to. And now let's publish that. And we're done. So that's how you can convert from the old Google Sites to the new version of Google Sites. I should also point out that not every Google account has this feature enabled right now. So if you don't see it right away, check back and you should get it before too long. Of course, you can always just copy and paste your old content into a new site as well. As always, for more tips and tricks like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com and practicaledtech.com.